What's, What's up, Royal family? family? It's your girl, Queen. It's your boy, Clarence. And we are back with another Throw Your mother. mother. I know y'all missed us. I know you guys have missed us on the Royal Family channel. He been working on his channel. We miss you guys, too. Um, I... I only uploaded a couple videos on my channel about like my, my surgery and stuff um, But we have not done a royal family video So we decided to take this time with the wonderful food that we got we from We just ordered some food Bossa Nova Grill Bossa Nova Grill In Hollywood you guys um, What you got to eat over there? I got the lemon garlic chicken mm -hmm. with fried plantains, rice, and beans I got the same thing, but just steak instead. Your steak look pretty good. Yeah, it looked good. Only thing is, I'm disappointed because I thought we was gonna have the other plantain. The the um. She pizza. liked the hard ones, the hard fried bananas. Y'all, y'all have to excuse my hair. Look at it. Y'all gotta excuse my hair. My hair been like acting up ever since Clarence wanted to freaking mess my hair up. But anyway, uh -huh, that's tea. <laughs> um, <laughs> so just like a little update on life. On life. We haven't been home in forever. We we came we've to been, LA when? We've been in LA for a month. We've been in LA for like a whole month, you guys. Y'all have to really ignore my hair. Don't even think about my hair. Don't look at it. Just pretend I'm bald headed. Babe, pretend I'm bald headed, okay? Wanna be cute still? Kiss cam! <laughs> you bald headed scary really yeah okay well you're gonna have to get used to it because i'm shaving my hair tomorrow what um, everybody know i got a tummy tuck in the video um everybody is saying well a lot of people i got a lot of good feedback like a lot of people are happy for me um i'm happy that i'm like recuperating well we did get a lot of good feedback i got a lot of good feedback so i'm not even gonna focus on the negative you have those people that were like oh you don't love yourself and all that stuff and now you just like the rest of the girls and this and that i really don't honestly i don't care what people say um i don't feel like it it makes me have any like more self-love i already love my i love the person i am but you can still have like insecurities and stuff like that and like, everybody and, has insecurities. and if you want to change them then that's up to you i'm not forcing no gun to nobody head to go get surgery i'm not trying to encourage it or discourage it from, I, I don't judge, period. But I had a mom belly and I wanted to get rid of it. It was just a decision that you made. I think like people get so stuck on like, that's one thing I don't like about social media. And that's one thing I can respect you for. It's like always being real. Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I know there's, even if like, you're like the most beautiful or most handsome, like you still have, have insecurities. Some kind of insecurity. like, and if we were able to change these insecurities, I think everybody, everybody would. would. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not only would just body change, if we could change how like our noses. Yeah. Like, our, our, our the size of our nose, uh, the, the the amount of hair we have on our eyebrows, the you know what I'm yeah. saying. If you could be taller, or if, if you wanted wear to be smaller, and like lashes and all that stuff all the time. Is that is that you know a I'm lack saying? of self love? I just, no. I don't think she didn't love herself. I think she didn't like a part of her body, and she wanted. Just she's been dying to change it since I met her. You yeah. know what I mean? Since and I then I had her. another kid. A few people I've seen said that Clarence forced me to get surgery, which is very funny because he said if it was up to him. I was fine the way I was, but I, honestly, yeah. If if I had it, <coughs> good. It was well, can't what? break there. But yeah, if it was, I feel like if it was like up to me, honestly, I would have told you not mm -hmm. to do it. Mm -hmm. Just cause you know how scared I was, and you yeah. know how like nervous was, I was. He was nervous, and it's like I'm not gonna lie, yeah. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, like you know, I just. Again, I've I've talked to girls with the, that had their body done, but I've never seen them in that way. Mm -hmm. Girls, that, you know what I mean. I've never seen them. You in go that. through the process of it. No, I never seen them in that way. Like what you mean? Like oh, like I want I want that. I I would marry her, or like just cause she got oh. her body done. You got what I'm saying? I've never been like that. You know what I'm saying? I always been like I like you know natural kind of you know what i mean mm -hmm. but 
I do, on the flip side, I do like know what she goes through and I know how she feels sometimes when she gets frustrated, I can't wear this or she can't wear that. I feel like you did more like just enhancing than like doing Yeah, your, I didn't like doing your body. Like she ain't put I didn't no, morph myself into a new she person. She didn't put no plastic in her body. She ain't put no I silicone. put my own fat into she ain't a different part. Do her boobs, she ain't do her butt. She ain't do her like you know what I'm saying she took the the, the the skin that was the fat baby. The fat. No, no I'm saying the skin right here. Yeah, the, oh yeah, it's like that wrinkly away. and she had a hernia and fibrosis, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I so it, that's like they had to go in there to get rid of that anyway. Yeah, it so why not get rid of it? It wasn't skin? only like for the visual too. Like she had to take that out eventually, no matter what you say. Like she had a hernia which was sticking out her stomach and she had fibrosis that was very hard. Like if you yeah. feel it, it was very hard. So she had to get rid of that anyway. They would have to cut me open anyway, so why not just go ahead and you know what I'm saying? Get what I want to get. And that's have. exactly what I said too. You might as well do everything at the like. You know Same I'm time. You don't want to get cut over. Like, you know what I'm saying? She, and she's, she has two kids. That's two C-sections. Two times she's been cut open. You know what I'm saying? So why get cut open again? Yeah, and then again. And then again. Like, you know what I mean? How do you feel on the flip side though? Like. I think you look amazing. Honestly, I think your body looks great. That makes me happy. It do. I, I, as long as like. Things like maintain, like you maintain it, and like I really don't care. It's you're a grown woman, and I'll never tell you what to do with like your life or your body. Like I think that that would be very yeah. selfish. Yeah. That's like you telling me not to go get tatted or something. Claire was laughing at me because I was like, I want to start a fitness journey now. <laughs> he was like, girls always trying to do that, but it's just because like I don't want to get this and then get it for no reason. Like I kind of like. I feel mo no, babe. Honestly, I feel motivated nah, I to get, get my body together. I would just say I see a lot of girls doing that. They just get their body done and, and then start working gym. out. No, but see the thing is, they don't tell people they got their body done. They be like, I got this done in the gym or whatever. Yeah. And that's that's like, another thing I respect you for though too. It's like you, that's you came out and told everybody. That's like no lie, y'all. I was really thinking about keeping it a secret. I was like, should I just like? Should I just like, just keep to myself? I already know people gonna have a lot to say. But then, people gonna have a lot to say once they see them pictures of my hips. And they gonna be like, ah, oh, you're lying about something. They're not saying regardless. Yeah, so like, why not? People really pay attention to everything you do, so I don't think you would've got away with hiding it anyway. Uh -huh. But, babe, it's really hard to do a mukbang. Why? Because we wanna, I wanna eat. <laughs> we are we eating, eat, but we're we not talking, gonna be talking. We was talking about the whole, Aisha Curry thing, how she said um, she felt, if you didn't see it, basically it was like she was on the red, the red table talk with Jada Pinkett and she was basically saying how she felt, correct me if I'm wrong, felt inse a little insecure because she didn't understand as a wife like and a mom of Steph Curry, she, she see a lot of women, you know, going after him, but in 10 years she haven't seen no men like look at her away or try to holler at her in any kind of way and so it made her look at herself and feel insecure. Do we have a different opinion from each other? I don't know what did you do to do that. I don't think that she meant it in like a way that she wants it. She obviously didn't. But like Steph Curry's mom is sitting right next to her. Like you know what I mean? I don't think she meant it in do, that. Do you feel like her attractiveness is based on how many people try to talk to you? No. Nah. I don't think so. No. And why? Why for her? I feel like niggas just not going for that. Like you get what I'm saying? It's Steph Curry's wife. You get what I'm saying? That's like people. I guarantee you, Jada Pink is not getting hit on. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? I'm but not she, getting hit on. But she's like, she's gorgeous. You yeah. know what I mean? It's not about like, but it's like, I think you, as as them, I think they also got to sit back and understand who they are and like. Who their partner is, you know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas might be like, nah, Steph Curry got like, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. Steph Curry got that. Like I'm not, I mean not even like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Or Jada Pinkett, like, nah, Will Smith got that. That's like, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah, off the market, they out of respect, them. yeah, out of respect, dude. Like those are two niggas in our in our culture that got a lot of respect. You know what I mean? But I understand how she feel though. But I also think it's because at the end of the day. 
women are more aggressive in that like kind of you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like women will like go coming for that after nigga. Yeah, yeah, like women will go for that nigga. But like not a lot of men will go for that, like that kind of like woman a lot of gets men go. Married. Yeah, a lot of women go for that. Mm-hmm. That married man. The thought. Like not nah, a lot of men go for that thought. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or the quick and easy. You yeah. know what I mean? Or the the girl that's showing her cheeks. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I think a lot of women want to go for that man that's married you know what, and that's we, showing that husband potential. I think right we're going too far. She says she feel like no one has have, have looked at her. But Not go for her. So like if you don't even notice somebody looking, honestly I don't know because yeah. even with me you guys, I feel like no one has looked at me. But I haven't been looking for it either. So I wouldn't even really like, know. You niggas be looking at you. Babe, I don't think so. How you know? You be seeing them when? Cause we don't even go nowhere. I be seeing it. Well, even when you working and stuff like that, like you go to the radio stations or anything like. I just feel like when you got a good man already. I mean, you shouldn't let yourself go. But that's all I really like. That's the only opinion that matters to me. It could be a million niggas that be like, "Ah, oh, queen, you beautiful and this and that. If he don't say it, I really don't care. Like, I really don't. Like, it's nice, thank you. But I want to hear from the one I love. Say like nine years pass, right? Mm -hmm. And a nigga hasn't looked at you and said nothing. How would you feel? Um, depending on my relationship No, but with you're you. married and stuff. Like, say we married nine years from now. Nigga hasn't said nothing to you though. No, no other nigga has tried you. I, I don't think I would. If I'm happy like with you, I don't, I don't feel like that would be a bother to me. No. Now, if you get to a point where you stop looking at me that way and nobody else is, I'm like, okay, I didn't let myself go. Like, I, I would feel some kind of way. But if I'm happy with you, I'm too. My mind is too focused well, on. What have you been in? Let yourself go. Oh, I'm straight. I know I look but good. But just no one's looking at you. Yeah, yeah, you just know. I just, I, I'll be happy with myself. Like I don't have to have a million guys gawking at me. You know what I'm saying? Gawking. Gawking. Like, cause I've had that before. Gawking. Like, just can't stop staring. If I knew that I was together with myself, I, I guess I wouldn't. It wouldn't really bother me. But th but but then again, you never know because. I'm not, I've, I haven't been in that position <clears throat> You can't really So you don't think, right now, you don't think your DMs is lit right now? No, no, them? no. I know your DMs lit though. <laughs> I know your DMs lit. I don't think so. I bet you it's, uh, girls is watching this right now that's probably DMs you. I don't know. But it's all good. I don't be looking at my DMs though. Babe. You know I don't You don't look that. in your DMs? You know I don't look at my DMs. You, you haven't looked at your, you haven't clicked on your request. No, I don't my request or nothing. I, I put them in everything. Why? I just, it's like, a lot of it is like. Girls. Just right. stuff that I don't really. Girls. No. <laughs> it's girls and you don't go on it because you feel like you probably, in, you feel like you're in a relationship so you don't need to. But I bet if you were single or if we was broken up you would be going through those requests wouldn't you because you know girls is in there right me on the other hand i can't say that i don't i don't think there's no guys in my dms this nigga's taking the dms right i promise you it's not this nigga's in the dms like this waiting for me to <laughs> waiting for me to do something no this nigga's in the dms currently waiting like this i don't think so babe but then again, I really haven't checked my DMs either. But I just feel like all my DMs are like, Queen, I love you, Queen. No, y'all, you should curry shit. No, babe. I just really feel like no no guys like have looked at me. That doesn't... I'm not saying I'm ugly or anything like that, but... Guys just don't look at me. They probably know that you, that nigga, and they ready. can't... You are. You're that man. But this is what I want to say to Aisha. 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 I say Aisha, Aisha. This is what I want to say. If Steph Curry got you on lockdown and a bunch of women be looking at him, da da da, what makes you think 
that no other man would be looking at you. That's Steph Curry. That's Steph Curry that everyone wants, and but he wants you. So if he's Steph Curry, imagine all the belows. You know what I'm talking about? All the guys that's under him. I think every everybody wants what you two have too. It's like yeah, you know what I'm saying. Everything everybody. I feel wants. I feel the same way about like myself though. You wanted me, obviously. So I feel special. I feel like if you want me and you and you're like and everyone else wants you, what makes me think that another guy wouldn't? So does that make sense? Yeah, makes perfect sense. You know? But Claire, you just you just know girls in your DMs. I don't. I don't know. Damn. Maybe we should make a video and see. Maybe we should. Maybe My DMs drop. This nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you capping. Let's check your DMs. I'm not capping. <laughs> so, are you scared for me to check your DMs? Not at all. Comment right now if you want to see that bit. I'll be a good bit. What if his girl's on there that's like known? <laughs> that's gonna be funny. That's gonna be tea. Babe, I I've went through my DM before, like a year ago. Mm -hmm. And even a year ago, I didn't go through my DMs, but like one day I did. Mm -hmm. And it was. Bit, there like, was a lot of celebrities in there. Really? Yeah, like girls though. Oh, yeah, I know. You, you show know. me one. I'll show you a few. Mm -hmm. I know it's girls in there. <laughs> hey, but guess what? I'm a celebrity now. Woo -hoo! <laughs> <laughs> Just know I clean up well. Yo, what is, is that your favorite <laughs> one? What? I clean up well. I do, babe. I clean up well. You do, but you've been saying that like as a catchphrase. Because like, wait, just wait on it. I swear, the times I be walking around just looking any old kind of way a mess. It's like that. I only got two sides to me. That this side and the side where I'm all rammed up. It's no middle. <clears throat> Can I taste your passion fruit? You can taste whatever you want of mine. Here. Why couldn't you just pass it? I'm good. You should have got it, babe. Tell my son you wanted this. Taste that. Mm. Mm. There's a strawberry black in the premises. Fire. Mine's is better. Oh, yeah. Hold on, babe. You're going to drink it all. I'm the one that put you on the passion fruit juice. That's why I asked you, did you want it? Did you like the food? Yeah, it's good. It's getting I'm cold getting a little full we keep talking. I'm getting a little full. It's good though, it was like. This is way better than your drink. It's different. Like it's a different kind of meal. It feels like cleaner. What's like mixed in this, the passion fruit? It must be passion like... fruit is a fruit, babe. <gasps> I thought passion fruit was a bunch of fruits together and it made passion. <laughs> nah, I'm out. I really did. I really did. Passionable fruits. No, baby. Passion fruits are fruit. You guys, the camera's about to cut off. It's at 2340 right now. When we edit it, it's probably going to be way less than that. But that was our little.